The man who's currently on your screen was seen rapping a bunch of bizarre freestyles on Snapchat just hours before taking a father's life over a £17 bottle of vodka. His friend posted him up with a caption, get this boy on a record, he's actually sick, and my G having a rip. Whoever screen recorded the friend Snapchat just flicked through the story so you can't really see him rapping but I'll play the clip now briefly you can just get an insight into how crazy they were going this night. I did a robbery, Diggy I was Michael, fixing my paper job, I'm fucking up the shit, fuck. Your boy is sick, it's got a fair beast, can you see? A-N-I-K, I know you're playing so many games, you got a fair bet, he's in the years old. On the night of this M charge, Lewis had travelled from his home in Devon with a friend to stay with his friends in Yeovil. On the way, they stopped off to buy alcohol, including a bottle of vodka. After arriving at his friend's flat, they went to a local shop to buy food. While they were out, Matthew, the man who was in them clips rapping, who was staying with a friend in the same apartment block, went into their flat via a roof and stole a bottle of vodka. After returning from the store, there was a brief verbal dispute between Lewis and Matthew about the stolen alcohol. A short time later, Matthew went down to the flat Lewis was staying in, armed with a knife, and once inside, stabbed him repeatedly in the head, neck, and shoulders. Senior investigating officer of the major crime investigation team said this man carried out a relentless and savage attack on Lewis in front of his friends and had taken the man's life. Afterwards, he returned to his flat and recorded a series of videos which were posted on social media. That is nothing, bruv. Listen, when I was in London yet, yeah, getting beaten up by fucking 20, 40 black geezers, that ain't shit. And fucking what? Perhaps give you back, back, back. <laughs> Sick guy. Slice, fucking waiting for you. Come on. What? I don't get what you're doing. Well, we just nearly got nicked up by feds big time. Oh, because the man's not bad. Because well, that's what I'm not sore. So you man take a blade to us, yeah? Still can't beat us. Get me, yeah? Fucking blade, yeah? Man, ugh, I'm not even going to go into it. Do you know what? I don't need to talk my business. If you don't know me, you're a mug. If you know me, then fucking bigger man you, innit? Biggie. Listen, you come through that front door without a warrant, mate. You're getting sued, mate. All right? Yeah? We'll yeah, it'll be forcing Shut entry up. for what? You're on record now, mate. Yeah? Police are forcing entry into Diggy Michael's uh, property. We've been sat upstairs, yeah, for the past an hour watching the TV, and now the police want to enter the property. But yet we haven't actually left the building. Funny that, isn't it? Yeah? You're on record. Crap on, mate. Because you'll be paying for the damages, mate. So as you can hear now, the police are trying to be civil with me by calling me mate. When actually, they've been very rude and ruthless, saying you're going to kick my door in, yeah? But now you're on record, so you can hear that. And you could hear it from the beginning, so I'm just making it clear. When this goes to court, you can hear what they've done first before I even said you're on record. Open the door. Yeah, open it. You go on in, open no, the door. No, thank one. you. On, For my mate. own safety, I'm going to keep the door closed. Thank you very much. Snapchat, which he was filming the police on and trying to defend himself, would be his downfall because he recorded a series of Snapchats in 35 minutes between the stabbing and his arrest, but inadvertently recorded himself confessing to the crime when he thought the mobile phone had stopped recording. One of the eyewitnesses said the stabbing was like a scene from a horror movie and all the attempts to stem the bleeding failed. The victim, Lewis, was visiting his friends in the same block of flats as Matthew and this incident escalated simply over a bottle of vodka, which is crazy. The victim was a father of five and worked as a doorman at pubs and a club in his area. Reports say that CCTV picked up the 20 minute argument and dispute, going back and forth with each other. Footage showed him checking that his knife was in his back pocket and not visible before he went into room 4 and took his victim's life. He then ran downstairs, went outside and threw away the weapon and returned with his friend upstairs when he was recording their videos. The knife was never recovered. Both the friends who had spent the night drinking and taking drugs and recording a bunch of bizarre gangster rap style snapchat clips in which they bared their chest and boast about how tough they were. And the last clip I played you could hear the police kicking in their door about to arrest Matthew for what he had done.
On Snapchat, he said, we almost got nicked up by the feds big time. He said, I put it in and I twisted it. I think I've just been done for an M charge. I've just M'd someone. Which is crazy that they put this up on their Snapchat. That's how out of it they were. High on drinking drugs on this night. Which caused the situation to most likely escalate way easier. Which of course was no excuse. The man was a father of five kids and even a grandfather. Who is described as a family lion in tributes issued after his life was taken. In the bed sit in Yeovil last December. In a victim impact statement, his younger sister Cassie said the whole family is shell shot and his five kids aged 2 to 21 cry themselves to sleep every night, which is absolutely horrible. She said we torture ourselves over a Snapchat video in which Matthew is covered in blood and is proud of what he's done in leaving five kids without a father. The innocence of these kids has been taken away. The father has been taken away and stolen from them. We are missing our beautiful Lewis who was so loyal and brave and true. We were shell shot when we saw the 999 call and cannot touch on the loss and pain which has been caused to the entire family. Matthew took away the opportunity for us to be together as a complete family. Rest in peace to Lewis the victim in this case, a very very sad story. Matthew Sheridan age 30 denied the M charge but was found guilty by a jury in just 90 minutes. He was jailed for life with a minimum tariff of 25 years by Judge Peter Johnson. It means he would not be able to even apply for parole until December 2045. The catalyst for the killing was the victim asking you for proof of purchase of vodka. You're not willing to suffer a loss of face and had already decided to attack him when you stabbed him. While the paramedics desperately tried to save him, you were revealing what you had done, making a video for Snapchat in which you described the fatal blow. Far from showing regret or remorse, you were bragging about your actions and lying about the cause of the injury you sustained during the attack. I'm pretty sure now looking through this case that last one where they covered themselves in blood and also showed the cut on his finger they were trying to put something out there to show they had been attacked so they could say they defended themselves but the police and no one was falling for that at all. At one point he even tried to blame his friend Mr Michael for taking the man's life but all three eyewitnesses in the room identified Matthew Sheridan who was seen on CCTV covered in blood as he left room 4. And the police did say they had a compelling amount of evidence against Matthew himself. But that is it for this video guys. Make sure you all leave a like and subscribe to the channel with that notification bell if you're new. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.